So I've always been a dreamer in that I've had lots of vivid dreams since I was quite young. And I grew up in a family, fortunately, that um, not every morning listened patiently to my dreams, but dreams were thought of as contributing to life, not as rubbish. As I kept growing, I began to learn that they had, for me, a lot of value. The real connection was made for me when I was like 14 or 15 years old and I'm in the science class and they're talking and teaching us about photosynthesis and I kind of like woke up right in the middle of the class and I'll never forget and I went oh my god they are talking about dreaming. Later on in my 20s and 30s was when I came across teachings from the Australian Aborigine Dreaming Culture where they actually refer to light as being the dream, a dream of light. Every seed carries the blueprint of what it's about to be. But can we physically see the blueprint? Can we sort of extract it out and say, this is it, and it's in a physical sense? No, we cannot. What the blueprint is to the Aborigine, and this wisdom comes from maybe 60,000 plus years ago, is that it carries the original dream. There is a practice where you can go to sleep looking for another solution to the to the decision making that you haven't even thought of. And again, it'll come back and it may look a bit like acrobatic cows falling off a fence. But if you stay with it um, and really work it and let it sit and work in you, then um, you may be really amazed at what it is that um, you discover, that you explore and is possible that wasn't possible the day before or a week ago whatever that timing is. So what I do is share a dream practice that is easy, that is short, anyone can do it, and it kind of builds up that muscle to be able to pull out the dream from the imagination in the morning or from that place in the brain. It develops your awareness which brings huge spaciousness into your life. All those I know that have a dream practice, whether it's through me or through other teachers, what I have seen is in common is we all grow in having more space and time in our everyday life, which is a huge commodity in the times that we are living. And so it creates health, it creates well-being, it can become the wisest counselor that you could ever want. Um, it can lead you, it can also sometimes let you know when some tricky things are about to happen in your life, tricky things that um, could unsettle you, but by knowing, by even having the idea that this is a possibility that something could happen, it allows your whole system to prepare for it, so when, when and if whatever occurs, occurs, there is a, the wherewithal to really walk with it differently than you would if your whole body and mind hadn't engaged first with the idea. So, back to before anything can exist, there is an idea, there is a dream, there is a vision, where and that dwells not literally inside the brain, it comes from something far larger than ourselves. And I know that each person here that's looking at this video, if you close your eyes, your sense of self is not just all inside your brain, you have a feeling of extending out through space and it's that part of you that I'm talking to that's that part of you I'm addressing and saying harvest it uh, glean it enjoy it be reciprocal with it allow it to really start feeding your life and the lives of your families and my greatest wish for the world is that when um, if Whatever way we educate our children, be it in school, be it in a circle, out on a field, however we 
arrive in educating our children, let us also let them have a access and a contribution and a feeling of integrity around our dream time.